family owned independent company. Our mum set up a guest house at Highgate House which turned into a conference centre. So we're an events company, uh, but still 100% privately owned by the family. I'm really excited about today. It's our second um, uh, learning and development thought leader event. We noticed that when we have more than one company with us, very often the learning and development facilitators uh, amongst the different companies want to network, want to talk to each other. So we spoke to a few and they said, look, why don't we help you put together an event that would add value for us and bring a group together of your clients and other people that want to learn. Well, the event is an opportunity for learning and development specialists and experts in their field to come and share, listen to keynote speakers, network, take some time out of the office and to reflect and learn and then apply that learning to their own lives, to the teams they work with and the organisations they're, they're part of. To have the breadth of discussion and sharing of experience and knowledge and expertise just brings different thought processes and gives people the opportunity to hear very different perspectives. I'm here today to basically get as much information about learning development and the leadership and thought leadership as possible. It just sounded like it was a very informative and mind-stretching event to actually attend and having gone through the morning session now it's certainly lived up to that. A lot of the delegates who've come along today are probably the people who normally organise events for their own organisations so it's very rewarding to actually think today I can step away from having to think about other delegates and be as, as selfish as most delegates are and just think what can I get out of today. I thought oh, I've got to go to a team building day I don't fancy that all that running around jumping about being a bit crazy and then you go back to the office and nothing is different um, but after a day with Lucy I changed my mind. Okay. <laughs> We had some guttering and the challenge was to run a golf ball from one end of the room to the other as fast as you can. Now we divided 70 people into two halves, so two groups of 35, and had 12 sections of guttering each and in the rules they had to use all the guttering. The type of people that come to these events mainly seem to be from learning and development within organisations but small and large and that's kind of the best thing about it is that you are hearing from people who have got good budgets, you know, big teams, uh, regional workers, global workers and what they're doing, how they're using technology and what they're delivering out there through to if small businesses who are being able to do that one-to-one -one stuff and being able to get all of that knowledge is great. Apparently I've been sent to the back because I'm taller. It's great to meet new people, make new contacts and there are a few I'll definitely be in touch with after this. Being able to uh, knowledge share across wider organisations is just the best thing about, particularly for learning and development, because we love to learn. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I think it went better at the last, uh, the last run than the first run. But I think we were the winners because they copied our system. I think it brings new ideas, new ways of thinking. One of the sessions today on the apprenticeship levy, it helped me to understand better what I probably need to start thinking about a little bit more. We've got huge changes in the way apprenticeships are going to be paid for. The government recognise the importance of apprenticeships and I think that's why these changes have come about because apprenticeships give a really viable option for youngsters leaving school now rather than uh, being forced down an academic route to university. Part of this is to actually then find out what other people are doing, what other thoughts are happening out there and be introduced to a few more uh, ideas and techniques. Well we were careful to put together an agenda of speakers which covered a broad spectrum. We had people who can be inspirational like Rory Underwood who can tell his story about working with teams. Today I was just talking about uh, my experience of my time in the Air Force and uh, in playing rugby getting all my knowledge from the business world and how the link between rugby and flying and all my experience with teams because you know, everything's around teams how I could meld that into some sort of model thinking ways of doing things that I can encapsulate. I've not been here before so it's really nice to be able to come and see different venues. The house behind us is, is spectacular but also the fact that you've got amazing facilities within the grounds. Really good food, having the bus here has been really good fun as well. Hospitality is in the blood and it still feels very much like we're welcoming people to our home, both here and at our other property, uh, Woodside in Kenilworth. They make you feel at home, they make you feel comfortable, the team are great. It's a one-stop shop of being able to have conference facilities, team building and a, a hotel restaurant as well. And it's actually really inspiring to see a venue actually taking that step of saying, 
let's get our clients in as delegates so we can really understand how to make the delegate experience that much better. Yeah!